Hi, this is Mrs. Young, and this is a short video to help you with today's lesson. Um, we are in day seven of our data unit, um, April 28th, Tuesday, and you had to do um, two-way relative frequency tables. Uh, there was a short four-minute video you had to watch, and then two different problem sets you had to work on reading, two-way relative frequency tables, and then creating. Um, and I have to be honest, two-way relative frequency tables are tricky. They are challenging. Um, so that's why I thought I'd make a short video. I had a few students reach out to me and say they're having a little bit of difficulty, and that's why I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more support or help. Again, make sure you've watched this video already. And I'm going to start with the two-way relative frequency tables, reading them. Um, in your problem set, let me go to some problems. Um, one thing that I noticed Oh, well, here's our first problem. A university surveyed its students on their opinions of campus housing. This following two-way table displays data for the sample of 200 students who responded to the survey. So again, you've got the number positive, negative, and neutral means no opinion. And these three numbers add up to the far column on the right. You also have it broken down by male and female, which adds up to the total at the bottom. And again, you can see that they have 200 kids that they surveyed total. It says here, of the students in the sample, what fraction were male? So you can see that we had, I'm trying to find male, there it is here, we have male, total, 90 male students, out of a total of 200 students. So what fraction were male? 90 out of 200 were male. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one. Fingers crossed I got it right, guys. Now if this were me, like for my class, you probably would have had to show work for that, or sorry, you should have reduced that, right? So 90 over, or over 200 normally you would reduce, but here they did not. Okay, um, I'm going to try to go back and do another one for you. Let me see if I can do another problem for you. It says here, researchers once surveyed students on which superpower they would most like to have. The following two-way table displays data for the sample of students who responded to the survey. What percent of males in the sample chose invisibility as their superpower? So you can see in the table here that you've got, let me find, um, males chose invisibility. So we've got invisibility, males. I can see that there were 14 that chose that. What percent of males? And so of males, there are 50 total males so that would be 50, sorry, 14 out of 50, or 14 divided by 50. Um, I think, why won't it let me click my calculator? I'm going to use my own calculator. Um, 14 divided by 50 is 28% um, or 0.28. When I was watching the video, they had it as a decimal, but then I noticed here in these problems, they're putting it as a percent. So 14 divided by 50 is 28%. So here putting it as a percent, no decimal, right? Got the answer right. So again, it was 14 out of 50 total, right? Okay, let's try another question. Um, it says here, researchers surveyed recent graduates of two different universities about their income. The following two-way table displays data for the sample of graduates who responded to the survey. So again, we have their income. University A, University B, and then the total. You can see that they surveyed 300 people total. Of the graduates in the sample, what fraction came from University A? So you can see that University A, this column right here, had 160 students total out of how many students altogether? 300. So 160 out of 300, here it is. Again, for Mrs. Young's class, you would reduce that fraction, but they did not reduce here. I don't know why. Um, let's try another one. Um, it says here approximately, so this lo looks like a very similar um, table, but it says approximately what percent of graduates from University A have an income under 30,000? So income under 30,000 from University A, what percent of graduates from University A, so they had 160 total from University A, so if I take 35 divided by 160, I'm pulling out my calculator, guys. 35 divided by 160, I get 0.218. So I'm going to round that to 22%. Yes. 
Um, so again, I just want to do a few of those sample problems for you to give you an idea of how you look at two-way relative frequency tables. But then I also wanted to do one or two out of the next section where you're creating two-way relative frequency tables. And again, you might see problems like this, or they might have different numbers, but similar problems. The two-way relative frequency, sorry, the two-way frequency table below shows data on a student's performance on a math test and that student's gender for students in Mrs. Matchenbacher's class. Complete the following two-way table of column relative frequencies. So we had 42 females pass, 15 fail, 14 males pass, 5 fail. So you can see here, the whole point of relative frequency is that we're trying to figure out like the percent out of the total. So how many females passed out of 100%? So the first thing you want to do is like add up your columns, like 42 plus 14. So 42 plus 14 is 56. I wonder if I can write this here. Maybe I can write this here. 56. My pen is not working. Sorry, guys. This is 56. Wow. Um, and then we want to know what percent out of the total. So if I took 42 divided by 56, 42 divided by 56, I get 0.75. Here in this section, they're asking me to put it as a decimal because it says nearest hundredth. So I'm going to say 0.75. Again, I used my calculator to figure that out. I took 42 divided by 56. For males, 14 divided by 56, again, using my calculator, 14 divided by 56, I get 0.25. That makes sense because those two decimals add up to 1 or 100%, right? 75% of the females pass, 25% of the males pass. And then in the next column, again, 15 plus 5 is 20. So if I take 15 divided by 20, I get 0.75. And then if I take the males that fail, 5 out of, again, this column is 20. So 5 divided by 20, I get about 0.25. Let's check and see if we got this right. Yes. Um, so again, really, when I think of this type of table that we're looking at here, we're looking at really like percentages. Let's just try one more. So the two-way frequency table shows data on twins in a patient's family history and pregnancies with twins for pregnancies Dr. Ward has attended. Complete the following two-way. So they want us to take a relative frequency table and turn it into a two-way relative frequency table. You can see here that now they're going across and having it add up to one. So twins born, twins in family history, twins not in family history. So I'm going to be taking 8 plus 26 8, again, I was having a problem with my pen before, but if I add 8 plus 26, I should get 34. I doubt if my, oh, now it's going to work. There's 34. So I want to know how many that is out of uh, a, a percentage. So 8 out of 34. If I take on my calculator 8 divided by 34, I get 0.235. Since that third digit is a 5, I'm going to round it up to 0.24. Ooh, they want me to leave it as a fraction. So confusing because up here it says round to the nearest hundredth. Um, so again, I guess they want us to, let me back it up, I can just write it as 8 over 34. Twins not in the family history, that's 26 out of 34. Single child born, that's 125. Ooh, so then I have to add up these as well. So I have to add up what's 125 plus 841 using my calculator, I got 966. So this is going to be 125 out of 966. And then this one's going to be 841 out of 966. A little confusing there. Sometimes it looked like they wanted the decimal, and then here they wanted it as a fraction. So it um, looks like maybe they're not always consistent. Um, just looking at one more real quick. Um, again, here you can see this time they're going in columns up and down instead of across. So 28 plus 9 is 37. 
boy, my pen is not writing well in there, guys, 37. So if I take 28 divided by 37, I get 0.76. It's 0.756, and I rounded it up. Um, for 9 out of that same number, 37, so 9 divided by 37 is 0.24. Notice, one thing you should notice when you're doing these is that in a, a, the column or sometimes the row, it should add up to 1 because it's a percentage. It's out of the total. In the second column, fixed mindset, we have 12 and 58. So 12 plus 58 is 70. Um, and if I took 12 divided by, oops, sorry, I guess, 12 divided by 70, I think my keyboard is up. That's 17%. So 0.17. And then the last one there, 58 divided by 70. I get 80. It's 828. So I rounded up to 83%. So 0.83. So that's just a couple of sample problems, um, maybe to help you out a little bit with these three two way relative frequency tables. They are a little bit more challenging. You're going to see them um, a little bit more of two-way tables tomorrow. Um, also, anything in Khan Academy, you can uh, redo, retake, rewatch the videos, um, work ahead if you want. Um, so again, just a quick review of your lesson from today.